What's up, my favourite people on the planet? My squad. I am your squid, aka the Anxious Squid here at Anxious Squid Productions. This video is another one for my newly minted bull riding playlist. Uh, first one focusing on a specific bull. You already know that from the title and the thumbnail, though. These guys are my patrons. Please consider becoming one. I like money. I spend it on stuff. I'd like you to spend some of your money on me, and then I can spend that money again on other stuff that I like. That'd be dope. Do me a solid. Let's get into it. Thanks for clicking on this video guys, these bull riding videos are starting uh, to heat up views wise so welcome to anyone that's new to the channel. If you haven't seen me before, don't judge me yet, wait till the end of the video but then do me a solid, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, do everything you do with the other content creators you like. Uh, this video is called World's Most Dangerous Rodeo, 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 what's the difference? Is it a rodeo or a rodeo? How should I be saying it? You know what I mean? Because I don't want to offend the locals, if that makes sense, you know? Like, I've recently emigrated to America, or I did at the start of 2019, right? Um, and and some people get pissy with my, ac with my accent, you know? Like, I just speak how I speak, I can't fucking help it. But sometimes I'll say a word wrong and people will be like, oh, that's this, not that. And it's like, alright, just correct me once and I'll be corrected, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, if it's rodeo or if it's rodeo, let me know in the comments section, spell it phonetically, you know, like... Uh, so I know, um, and and I'll get it right from that point forward. But yeah, this video is world most world's most dangerous rodeo bull bodacious. So let's do this. Oh man, that's blurry. Cowboys say they'd rather try to saddle a tornado than take a ride on bodacious, the world's most dangerous bull. He doesn't just throw rider. So. Apologies for the blurriness of the video there. It's obviously kind of old, right? But I love that. You'd rather saddle a tornado. Like, that's the, the imagery in the... I hear he's, like, crushed skulls and shit. Oh, man, that guy would just went flying, didn't he? Far out, look at him, he gets high and he just stays on his front legs. He's a Charlotte's bomb and cross breed named Bodacious. 1800 pounds of solid muscle. In 135 matchups with the world's top bull riders, only eight have gone the distance. Wow. Earning him the title, world's most dangerous rodeo bull. That's cool. Oh, I've got to get a bodacious hat. If there's a bodacious hat out there, right, because as you can tell, I like hats. I've got like a whole wall of hats here. If you're new to the channel, you'll you'll see it at some point on a live stream or something like that. Uh, but yeah, if there's a bodacious, any bodacious merch, if there's any bull riding merch at all for my background that you want to send me, my PO box is in the description. That would be dope. Thank you. In advance. Snapping move that has left destruction in its wake. Yeah, I'm gonna lean him, bring him down, and then whack him with the back of my head. It's this one. A deadly head snapping move that has left a trail of destruction in its wake. He's the only bull that does it. Terry Don West is one of the cowboys that Bodacious has smashed to smithereens. This ride cost Terry six broken ribs, a broken collarbone, and a punctured lung. Jesus! Potentially fatal rib cage smash. I could breathe, and that's probably the first time I thought I was going to die. I 100% like can relate to that feeling. I've said it many times, those don't kill somebody. A few that's brutal. Like I've broken ribs as well, and it hurts to fucking breathe, right? Like I broke. I didn't break my ribs doing anything crazy like riding a bull. I broke my ribs riding a car. Um, which <laughs> obviously is also crazy, right? If you haven't heard that story, long story short, I was on top of the car, 15 people were in the car, we hit a tree because the guy driving couldn't see what the fuck he was doing. I hit the tree at the same time the car hit the tree. I dislocated this shoulder, I broke every rib on this side of my body. It, like, a sneeze became more scary to me than, like, 
it, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre or whatever fam- whatever like famous scary movie that you can think of, insert it into that like analogy. Sneezing, I, I would cry. You know what I mean? Like I totally understand the feeling of I'm about to die. I can't breathe. I think I've just punctured a fucking lung. You know, and he did actually puncture a fucking lung, whereas I hadn't. But oh, low key shout out to the people that say, "Hey, shut up, don't talk," and all that sort of stuff. Feel free to unsubscribe, leave a dislike on your way out, bite me. It's my YouTube channel. I'll do what I want. I said I'll never ever get on that boy again. I've said many times I was gonna kill somebody. A few have Fucking hell. with Bodacious, and bull riding a cowboy has to stay on top of the bull for eight seconds for the ride to count. Tom Peterman, considered by many to be the world's greatest bull rider, says Bodacious He's got the, the hang on like this, this wave. Oh, he's doing it right. He's doing well. Fucking hell, he did superb. Very hard away, bro. Like, I know you're excited, but. Those cowboy hats are expensive. were matched again in 1995 at the World Championship held in Las Vegas' MGM Grand. So, how does it work? Is it just a random draw? Like, you got. Uh, like, we're all competing. There's eight of us. So, eight's, eight's a lucky number, obviously, a magic number in this sport. But, like, say there's eight riders, you know, and there's eight bulls. Do the riders just take the names out of a hat like it's a Triwizard tournament and they're picking dragons? Or like, what is it, how does it work? You know what I mean? Oh! Have a look at the crazy cunts getting in between the bull and him. I was fine, I was in good shape, and when he started up for the second jump, I was up right over him, and you know, just, he just came back and just, just hit me in the, in the face and you know, just crushed everything from here to here and onlookers including fellow competitors hardened to the violence of the sport were shocked at what they saw luckily the second jump it didn't hit him again or it probably killed him because his face was already uh just like a cracked egg then and if he hit again i'm sure jesus like i know you can't really see because of the blur hit him again or probably but you can actively see like not just blood flowing like like, that's under underselling it, you know what I mean? Like, this is the Niagara Falls of flowing off his face. Like... His face was already, uh, just like a soup. Egg, then. And if he hit again, I'm sure that he would have... He's he spitting out, out teeth. Fucking look at all that blood! One eye was over here, and one eye looked like it was down here, and he pulls his contacts out and says, Tell my wife I'm okay. And jumps in the back of the ambulance. I thought I was looking at the toughest man I ever saw in my life. Fucking A. Fucking A. Plastic surgeons worked all night to recreate top space. Jesus. When I got home, and my son at the time was three years old, and uh, didn't, didn't hardly recognize me when I got home because of all of the swelling. And Fuck, I man. I felt quite a bit different. He, uh, he looked at me and he said... You know, if you ever drop Odacious again, you're going to have to chicken out. And I said, you got a kill. And, you know, lo and behold, I joined at the national finals. And I just said, no, thank you. And uh, I, I just didn't get on. Yeah, fair enough. What you have just seen happen is one of the smartest things I've ever seen a human being do. I want you to tell Tom Peterman you are proud. We need him alive. We need him alive. Fucking A. Scott Brady drank, and he did the same thing to him as he did to me. Oh, he no. He which still knocked him out, broke bones all around his eye socket, stitches in his face. This would be the last time any cowboy would ever climb on the back of the world's most dangerous rodeo bull. What's up to now? Andrews made a very difficult decision. Retire Bodacious at the peak of his career. Ah, he's got a legacy now, but be crippling anybody else. Like that's the thing. You gotta, you gotta retire on top. That's a lot of sports people don't realize that. You know, like if you retire when you're the champion, forty years after your retirement, people will be talking about you and how good you were, and like comparing you to the greats of the game of that era and stuff like that. 
If you wait one year too long and you have a shitty season, people will be talking about that shitty season as your legacy. All you got to do is look at Henrik Lundqvist, right? Like the, the goalie for the New York Rangers. Guy takes him to the playoffs a couple of times. He's like in the top 10 uh, for winningest goalies in the history of the competition. Not just for his club, but in the history of the competition. And because he's probably gone on a year too long, people are like, oh, he's, you know, he's overrated. He's not even that great. He's not a Hall of Famer, blah, blah, blah. He's a fucking Hall of Famer. He's had a career like no other, right? But because he's played shit this season, people people forget all the good stuff, you know? Like this, Sammy Andrews, like, A, saving people's lives, because obviously if you're a bull rider, you're going to be riding bulls and you're going to be a bit crazy anyway, right? Like, not not trying to offend anyone. I'm bipolar. I, the C word is not offensive to me, but I understand it can be uh, offensive to other people. I'm not trying to, like, say... Oh, you've got to have rocks in your head to do this sport. But, like, there's a little bit... Of, like, there's a very fine line between bravery and stupidity, right? And these bull riders, like... Of course they're going to get on the back of it. doesn't matter if he's fucking fractured ten skulls. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to go, I want to win the national championship. This is the bull I drew. I'm going to give it a fucking whack, you know? I'm going to give it a fair shake of the sauce bottle. And so it's 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 mature and it's smart and it's it's commendable because presumably Bodacious would have been able to earn a shitload more money if he'd kept going and kept maiming people. But these Sammy Andrews blokes gone, nah, there are some things that are more important. The integrity of the sport, the integrity, like this is, like, yeah, cool. I'm going to shut up and get on with it, but cool. A very difficult decision. Retire Bodacious at the peak of his career. We allowed that he didn't want to be crippling anybody else or killing them off and so... We allowed that we might all retire him rather than keep him mangling up people's faces. Rather than keep him mangling up people's faces. Four years after his last ride, no bull has created a path of destruction that would challenge Bodacious' against time. <laughs> most dangerous rodeo bull. Sammy is currently breeding Bodacious and selling straws with his semen to ranchers across the country. He may one day build a son of Bodacious, Super Bull. Cowboys are worried they're not letting on. Have you ever seen another Secretariat since Secretariat won that race so well? There's a lot of good blood from Secretariat, but nothing was ever as great as he was. There's only one uh, Babe Ruth. There's, there's only one Jack Nicklaus. Yeah, fair enough. And only one Bodacious. I don't even know who Jack Nicklaus is, but... That was dope. That was really cool. That was really interesting. I'm going to have to check out some more balls and some more riders and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to make a list. I haven't yet made a list. I probably could in between recording, like hitting the end record and then editing. I will. This right here is a list, right, of all the suggestions people have looked, told me to look into. There's riders and there's balls. Uh, if you don't see your favourite rider or your favourite bull on there, let me know in the comments section. If you do see your favourite rider or your favourite bull on there, let me know which you want me to get to first, and I might, you know what I mean? So, uh, help me help me build this list up, help me work on this list, and then I will go through the list and try and watch everything that you suggest I watch. Because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really into bull riding now. This is really cool. It's a really interesting sport. Um, the fact that Old Mate's son didn't recognise him as well is a bit gnarly, you know what I mean? That's pretty brutal, but... It is what it is. Uh, I'm going to keep recording and stuff. These guys are my patrons. They're really cool. Please consider becoming a patron of mine. Uh, ad revenue is good to rely on and ad revenue works. It, money from ads does come in. This kind of br video though, as well as the, the brutal videos that I react to, sometimes get flagged and, and, and have limited income and all that sort of stuff just because of the sheer brutality. So if you have a spare dollar per month that you would like it to turn into my dollar per month, Click the link in the description. Patreon's dope. Do me a solid. Uh, failing that, I'm going to record some more. I'll see you guys when I look at you. You'll see me when you look at me. Thanks for watching.